What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be breaking down some of the details of some new Jurassic World Dominion images. So with all that being said, let's begin. So the ending of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom set up the storyline of dinosaurs being let loose on the mainland, forcing humans and dinosaurs to learn to coexist. The upcoming film Jurassic World Dominion will be shedding some more light on this subject. For the lead up to this film, we'll be getting a few leaked images showing us some new details and one of those images is a photo of a Christmas tree with an ornament that's made to look like there's a mosquito fused inside a ball of amber. But that's not what's important here. If you take a look to the left of the image, you can see a velociraptor, which is most likely blue, standing in a snowy region. This is actually quite an interesting detail because it shows us that a lot of the scenes in Jurassic World Dominion with Blue and all the other dinosaurs will be in the snow, and that's also shown in the new Winter Olympics ad showing Rexy and Blue in the snow. But in the image we can also see a baby Velociraptor standing next to Blue, meaning that Blue will be having a baby in Dominion. Now that we know Blue is having a baby, we know that Blue might tend to be a bit more aggressive to characters like Owen and Claire, because we know that from past films, dinosaurs parents tend to be a lot more aggressive because they're protecting their young. This will, also be, this will also be a really intelligent way to kill off Blue in the film because there is, are a lot of people saying that Blue's going to die in this film and I also agree with that idea because Jurassic World Dominion will be the film that puts an end to the whole Jurassic World storyline and if Blue does pr die protecting her offspring then I think that's a really intelligent way to getting rid of, getting rid of her and passing the torch to the new baby raptor. But one of my main questions about this is how is Blue able to have a baby? As far as we know, Blue is the only Velociraptor that escaped Lockwood Matter in Northern California. The only raptors he would be able to mate with would be the raptors from Camp Cretaceous Season 4 on Manticorp Island, or any Velociraptors that are still on Isla Sauna. But none of them are in the area where Blue is at the moment, so I don't think so I think that's a bit of a long shot, but we'll have to see what happens. Unless Blue is able to reproduce asexually like the Scorpius Rex from Camp Cretaceous Season 3, then I really can't think of a way that she's able to have a baby on her own. I do have a theory that involves the egg scene at the end of Fallen Kingdom though. We know that when Rexy stepped on the Indominus Rex DNA sample, it was kind of a sign that the entire dinosaur hybrid storyline was over, so I don't think they were Indoraptor eggs that were being created in the lab at the Lockwood Manor. I think that maybe Dr. Wu was actually creating more Velociraptors to parent the Indoraptors so they would learn to obey human orders, and the baby Velociraptor we see in this image is actually one of, from one of those eggs, and Blue is simply protecting it and raising it. I know that's a bit of a long shot and it's probably not going to happen but I need it but yeah we really don't know what was in those eggs so it might be that baby raptor but we'll have to see. But anyways that's all I've got for you to guys today. If you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of my content. Also I'd like to give a shout out to my friend Jurassic Boy Carter. A few days ago it was his birthday and just as a happy birthday present I'm giving him a little shout out. Most of you guys should already know him because we do a lot of live streams and collaborations together. But if you don't know who he is, then I'm going to leave a link to his channel down below. You can go check him out later. Bye for now, and I'll see you in the next one.